you know, from the outside looking in, without knowing the internecine uh, battles that were going on between the NFL and Kaepernick's people, it looks like Kaepernick doesn't even want to play. That he's all about his message, he's all about being the guy, he's all about being the martyr. And does he, does he really want to play? And I thought Don brought up a great point earlier. If he plays and fails, then all of a sudden the martyrdom is gone. If he never gets an opportunity again, he can always say to his dying day, they took it away from me, but my, my values were more important. So there's so many levels of this that I don't get. Like, why did you change it so late to the original starting time of the practice and have it 60 miles away, which is about an hour drive? So from 23 teams that were going to be represented, it came down to eight. So he played at a high school field in Georgia. And he showed the arm that everybody knows that he has. But what does exactly it show? It, it just looks like he wants, he's more about his cause, and I'm not going to say that's wrong, than he is about playing in the NFL. So does he come out looking like he's a bigger man because his cause is bigger? Yes. But does it help him become an NFL player again? Absolutely not. So what does he want? Well, here's my question, though. If you read this paragraph in the, in the waiver that basically says uh, the NFL does not, not only do they not owe you a job, you're not guaranteed a job, okay, but not only that, you basically have no more blame that you can place on anyone after this tryout. Meaning, yes, there's a chance that if the tryout were to take place and no one wanted his services, that could be legitimate, but you need to sign something saying, and now you have no other kit coming because we let you have this fakakta tryout but that I, everyone thinks is shady in the first place? But as I asked you earlier, didn't he already sue them and they came to a settlement? Well, so where's another suit? Well, to, I agree with you, but obviously the NFL feels differently. Because why would they include that? And when Kaepernick's lawyer sent that, they sent the agreement back without that paragraph. They removed that paragraph. And the NFL said, no, that's a no-go. Then the NFL puts out their own statement about what happens, which was filled with falsehoods, too. They said things about Nike. Nike asked if they could shoot a commercial. Nike had to put out a statement and say, we never asked the NFL for that. They just simply made it up. So it's... I was... On Saturday, my feeling was, man, Cap, I guess, really doesn't want to play. He just... He, he doesn't want to. But then when I read the paragraph myself, I went, well, why would he sign this? Why would he sign this? Why couldn't they have just made it work under an agreement right, of so no guarantee you get a job, but that's it? Well, what about the fact that Jay-Z has come down on Kaepernick and said, you know why he ruined his chance? Well, because Kaepernick, it makes sense. Jay-Z is working with Goodell right. and is trying to make this whole NFL relationship work. But, I mean, Jay, uh, in this moment, feels... Like, he's on this corporate side. Well, he's not on Kaepernick's side anymore. He is working with the NFL. And I think there's a chance Jay-Z went to the NFL, lobbied hard for them to do something. They went, you know what? You're right. That sounds like a good idea, Jay. We are going to do that. Then they went to their lawyers and said, hey, what should we do here? And the lawyer went, what you should have him do is sign this contract. If he signs this waiver, pff, we're good no matter what moving forward. Because otherwise, I don't understand why it's there. The, the paragraph is not a standard procedure paragraph. I think Kaepernick's biggest mistake was simply the message he delivered afterwards. You haven't spoken in front of a live mic in years. Three years. And I thought his message I, was very aggressive and just wasn't the right play. He should have he should have made it look like, I really wanted to do this thing in Atlanta. NFL really made it impossible for me. I'm thankful you guys came out. I hope it works out. But instead, the whole stop running from me, you're scared of me, I don't think that was the messaging that helped his cause. Have you ever thought that maybe both sides are wrong? That it's become a dog and pony show for both sides? Yeah. Right? The NFL, I think they've been wrong from the start on this. But, you know, they're, they're trying to go through this. Look at the effort we're trying to make with him, but also trying to cover their backside for any further litigation. And Colin, instead of just accepting whatever you get to try to get back into the league, he's trying to treat it as you know, continuing to play the victim and the things that he said afterward, because I thought Michael really hit the nail on the head. You had nothing to say to the media for how long, and then all of a sudden now you're, you're ripping every, into everybody. I just think everybody's, the NFL's trying to save face. Colin Kaepernick's trying to keep this whole thing alive, this whole narrative alive of I was jobbed. I, I think most people believe that now. But at this particular point, three years after the fact, I think it's over. All right? He sacrificed his career. We've got to move on from but the it. Weird part or, is, or make every effort humanly possible. Sometimes, sometimes you've got to swallow it, right? Well, if you want to get from? back in but the let, NFL. Let me ask you this, though, Peter. Why, why would he want to sue the NFL if he didn't get another job? So they want to cover their backside with that paragraph. Right. And, and maybe he's saying... If why I, would he want that to be still an option?
because if he doesn't get a job still, he may still believe that collusion is taking place even after the initial lawsuit and that this is continued collusion. Well, the whole thing was fishy anyway. Why in week 11 do they come up with this tryout? But None he, of it makes sense. And he didn't know about it. They, they didn't even reach out. They just announced it randomly one day. But if right. you want to get back into the NFL, Peter... As fugazi it all, all may seem, you got to jump through just their hoops. play, just play ball. Because ultimately, if he still has it, he going out, him going out there and playing and and succeeding and winning a job, that's even a bigger victory for him and an even bigger victory for everything he's been trying to accomplish. I agree. Okay, so if you really believe you can do it, then you sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and go out there and do what you got to do. Even though the NFL's messing with you, you just go take the opportunity because it's going to be the last opportunity you ever have. And, 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 and the truth is, you know, one thing I don't think he really was right about was demanding that it be open to the media. Yeah, that's when where he you, loses when, me. When, when, here's the thing. When I go to audition for a job, you know, I, I can't go audition when I went to WWE and say, hey, by the way, before we do this, I want the tape. I want my people to come shoot it. No, that's not really how auditions work. Yeah, but their, I think their he, combines he, are closed. Again, he's trying to c cover his butt. He wants the media to judge whether or not it was a fair workout and whether or not what the teams are saying is actually what took place. But the, the way it was fashioned when he spoke to the media, I think he spoke for a minute. And he said, you know, it was important. They didn't want the media in, and I wanted the transparency. You've had no transparency since you left the NFL. You have not spoken to the media, granted one interview for three years. And then, if you want transparency with the media, you don't stand there on your soapbox and speak and then don't take questions. Didn't take one question. Come on, man. And I, and I, He's talking out of both sides of his mouth. And I thought, I thought another bad look I did not like about what Cap did was, once he held the tryout, the entire thing was filled with all his people. So, like, on the field with him, if you watched it, it was just all people wearing, I know my right shirts. Right. Kaepernick jerseys everywhere. You look like... You're not positioning yourself correctly. Like, it's interesting. I keep thinking about Martin Luther King and the way King used the media, how specific he was about the way he wanted cameras to be there because of the way he knew he could uh, endear himself to people and get people who wouldn't have normally felt sympathetic to feel sympathetic based on what they saw on camera. And I feel that Colin did not, he, he forced the media to be there. He allowed it. He, he got it done. But then he didn't you take advantage of it by making himself seem like a sympathetic character. He kind of came off as um, as more bitter than sympathetic. He, he, he does not sell himself well to the general public. For those that totally support right. his cause, well, it doesn't matter what he's he does. got them. It's yes. almost like he's got a base that he's not going to lose. And that base is, and by the way, that it's base, significant. they deserve a lot of credit, too. I mean, would the NFL have ever done this in the first place without right. that base? All right, no. so he's got that base, but... Don't you want to convince other people other than the base that you really do want to play in the NFL? You've really got to question, is it about, quote-unquote, his cause, or is it about well, playing in the NFL? And also, whether it's for the cause or not, the one thing that would completely ruin everything for Colin is if he signs with a team and falls on his face. See, I don't know that I agree with that, though. I, I don't think that if he fails at this point coming back, it would, it would mess up his cause at all. I think he goes, they took away three years of my prime, I made it back to the league, I'm glad I made it back, but I mean, hey, But it does it fuel happens. the narrative that the reason he didn't sign with anybody was because he wasn't good anymore. Anyone who feels that way is a fool, though. L literally, if you, you believe you can't the deny reason... That people don't feel that But they're way. fools. They don't have an opinion on sports that counts. If you think the reason he wasn't in the league was because of his football skill... I agree with you. you. Don't, you your opinion but is we, invalid. But you know for a fact we can start taking phone calls from people who will say, come on, look at... He, Blaine Gabbert took his job at the end of his career. He can't play anymore. And then if he goes out there and plays, after having a workout and a team signs him, and he falls on his face, it's safe. You, then that ends the whole talk of every time you still do it, right? Every time, we all do. Every I mean, time a quarterback signs, you're telling me Colin Kaepernick's not better. Well, this would confirm. You'd say, well, no, Colin Kaepernick isn't better. I agree with you. And you could talk about that side being ignorant and not and, and not knowing football, but you can't deny that uh, it doesn't exist. And that's why I feel very uncomfortable coming down, you know, solidly on one side. We don't know why the NFL pulled this little stunt. Mm -hmm. We have no idea really what's behind Kaepernick and why he pulled his little stunt. So we're supposed to give a definitive um, 
take. I can't. And we, I can't do it. I can't lie to my audience. I don't know what this is about. No. Nobody's telling the truth. No, I mean, listen, Stephen A. over the weekend got a lot of controversy on Saturday when he made his statement. I understand why Stephen, Stephen has the right to feel how he feels. But when I saw it, I couldn't help but think, Stephen, you must have not read the paragraph that people are saying about the waiver. Because you ha there are two sides to but this. But maybe he doesn't care about that paragraph. He, maybe he still feels that. Do you want to play in the NFL or not? It, it, and, that's a, and that's fine. But you are choosing to look over important information. I, I, I'm with Michael 100%. I wish I could give everyone a stone cold. Colin is the man. They tried to screw him again, and he beat them. There are people who feel it's that way. I don't believe it's that simple. I, I believe the NFL's intentions here were very questionable. Very Colin cloudy. was understandably protected. No question. And I don't think he did a great... When he gets, gets protective, I don't think he does a great job with the message he's trying to send. Bill Roden used to write for the Times. Good friend. I love Bill. He's a great guy. And he writes for the Undefeated. And he has a column now on ESPN.com. Kaepernick called an audible and beat the NFL out of his game. No matter what the league had in mind, it failed. But isn't... If he beat the NFL out of his game, that he would be playing. So isn't that a somewhat pyrrhic victory? No, he thinks the game was they wanted to put him in a situation where they would control the narrative, make him look, make it look like they gave him an opportunity, and he failed. He said he saw what they were doing, said, no, I'm switching it and doing it under my own terms. People still got to look at me. One NFL executive said he had an elite arm and was impressive. Right. And now he's still not going to get a call. Well, yeah, a lot but of you guys have an elite arm that can't play in the NFL. But if he sure. played the game, Peter, as much as it probably would pain him to do it, because he probably hates the NFL and the way he's been treated, if he just played the game, then there would be more people on his side, and then I think he'd have a better chance of signing a contract to play. By doing it the way that he did, it leaves that slither of a possibility. He doesn't think he wants to play in the NFL anymore. And, and, and the owners that are somewhat reluctant... They're yeah, probably looking at him, you know what, he's got another game in mind. We don't want to get involved I would in have, this. I would have even done this. Let's say he decided, I absolutely cannot sign this waiver as it stands. You know, his lawyer goes, you do not want to sign this part. There's a reason I they... I showed up. There's, there's a reason they included it. I would have not signed it. And still showed still up. Still showed up. Right. Put out a tweet saying, the NFL gave me a contract. I am uncomfortable with this paragraph. Said what the paragraph was. Right. I'm not comfortable. I'm still here hoping we can move forward. Let the NFL be let the bad guy. The, let the NFL call off the workout. They have to call it off. Right, instead he, you call You them. moved it 60 miles. Now they position you like you're the bad guy. Right. It, it just, it, it was, to me, it wasn't completely thought through. I think that's a great point. Show up and make the NFL call it off and then say, okay, guys, we're going to reconvene. This place is an hour away. I'll give you guys a chance to go Right, there. but, we, oh, we sent back the contract. We removed one paragraph I wasn't comfortable with. Here's why. Um, I still hope we can do it, though, and figure it out later. I just won't sign that. And I, I, can't, I can't speak to what's in his heart and in his mind, but when he spoke, he seemed very angry. Very, uh, and, I can, off, and I can understand him being tipped yes. off. He feels that something's been taken away from him. But if you want to play in the NFL, you almost have to play their game. And I, he doesn't want to play well, that game That's true of any job, right? Uh, yeah, uh, we're all you know, playing the game. So, listen, it's so true. The best advice I ever got in this business, I'll be full, full disclosure. Michael knows in the beginning of my career at ESPN, I was not, I, I was not happy. There were times I wouldn't go to the parties. I would just be, I was described, they moved me to mornings. I hated it. And Joey Salvia said to me, Don, do you want this to work or not? And I said, I said, yeah. He said, sometimes you got to play the game. And he's so right. Sometimes you just got to play ball. Well, now if we you see Don's so unhappy at the parties, but he's there. Well, but, but he's no, but, unhappy. But, but, right. he's just, I mean, this right. is 100 but he's years ago. Yeah. Listen, I'm not playing the victim. This is 100 years ago. It didn't matter. I mean, I, was, I didn't want to work mornings, and I just wasn't happy with my standing, okay? And people know that. And I was a big baby about it. But at the end, I'm a big baby, and that makes you feel good to whine and complain and moan and groan. But then you ask yourself, what do, what's my end game? My end game is I want this to work. So you play the game. If Colin Kaepernick wants to play in the NFL, sometimes you got to play their reindeer games and then get back into the NFL, and you can have the last word. Now, if you don't think you have it to make it, well, then don't accept it and just go and, and, and go away and do the things that you're doing. But if you really want to play in the NFL, you sorry, know, you can't have your cake and eat it too sometimes. And, and it stinks, but you got to do it that way. And you have to be real with yourself. How heartbroken are you going to be when you're 40, 50, and you never, and you never got a chance to get back on the field?